Welcome to basic trigonometry practice question number four. We're still going over the sine, cosine, and tangent. And here we have a word problem. It says that a 10 foot ladder is leaning against a vertical wall. The bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall. The question is, what is the angle of the ladder with the horizontal? And the first thing I want to do is draw a picture. I strongly recommend for every word problem that you always draw pictures. So I'm going to draw the ground or the horizontal. And here we have the vertical wall. And in red, I'm going to draw the ladder that is starting on the ground and leaning against the vertical wall. So now let's go back to the word problem and see what information is given to us. Now the first thing it says is a 10 foot ladder is leaning against the wall. So we know that this ladder is a distance of 10 feet, so I'm going to label it with a 10. And if we continue, it also says that the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the vertical wall. So we know that from the bottom of the ladder to the vertical wall is a distance of six feet. And if we continue to the last part of the problem, it says what is the angle of the ladder with the horizontal? So I'm gonna label the angle as theta, and this angle theta is the angle that the ladder makes with the horizontal ground. So this is what we're trying to find, this angle theta. So now before we continue, I want to take a look at the shape that this ladder is making with the wall and the ground. Now notice how we have a right triangle, uh, because this angle here with the ground and the wall is 90 degrees. So we have a right triangle, uh, which means that we could use our trigonometric functions uh, to solve for this angle theta. Um, so let's label all of the sides of this right triangle. Uh, well, we know that the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. It's always opposite of the 90 degree angle. Um, so the side with a length of 10 is our hypotenuse. So this is our hypotenuse. Um, this side with a length of 6 is adjacent to our angle theta. So the side with the length of 6 is our adjacent side. And we also know that the side opposite of the angle theta is the opposite side of the right triangle. And this information is not given to us, and we don't need it to solve this problem, but I just want to let you know that this is the opposite side of the angle theta. Um, so now uh, we could use all this information and our trig functions to solve for our angle. Um, and we use the phrase so katoa to help us memorize the formulas for all of the trig functions. Uh, because the adjacent side is given to us and the hypotenuse is given to us, we're going to use the cosine function. So ka toa. Um, so ka cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. All right. The cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. All right. So we know the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side, which has a length of six over the hypotenuse, which we know has a length of 10. So now once again, this question is asking us, what is the angle that the ladder makes with the horizontal? So we need to get theta, this angle theta by itself. And to do that, we need to use the inverse cosine to get rid of the cosine. Um, so we have theta by itself, and it's equal to the inverse cosine of six over 10. And if we plug this into our calculator, Make sure your calculator is in degrees and not radians. Uh, the inverse cosine of 6 over 10 is equal to 53.1 degrees. So this angle that the ladder makes with the horizontal ground is equal to 53.1 degrees. This is the solution to our word problem. I hope this gave you a better idea on the basic trigonometric function, sine, cosine, tangent. Um, if you need any extra pra uh, practice, uh, make sure you check out my practice quiz and I have a bunch of different problems that you can work out. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.